My name is Brian Sainer. I'm from Chicago. I'm 67 years old. I'm so grateful that I am a body. And I am so humbled by that as well. And I think this is something that happens as we get older. And I'm, I'm thinking that this body is the only thing that I have to understand my relationship to you or anything. I've said this so many times. I can, I can look through a microscope and I can see the cells in my body, blood. I can look through a telescope and I can see Jupiter, you know, and how amazing it is right now. And all of that somehow doesn't exist unless I have a body or I am a body with these senses. But also those things exist. Jupiter exists without the human race, without me. And in some ways that's humbling. But there's a mystery, there's magic here that I haven't quite figured out and science doesn't explain it. And so then it becomes spiritual in my mind because that's how I grew up, understanding that there is a spirit outside of myself. Or, and maybe that's a question. Maybe that spirit is myself and it's through this, my embodiment that I'm able to understand the spirit, the thing that's other. And so that relationship between embodiment and otherness, you, another human, or the planet, Jupiter, and other object uh, is, is only understood through this flesh and, and blood and bone and consciousness. I don't know, and I'm thinking about death. And I'm thinking that there's an end to embodiment as I know it. And then a really fun question is, does consciousness exist? Do, is there a spirit? Is there life after death? And I suspect not. Uh, you know, right now, my limited understanding is that, I don't know, without having this aggregate of brain, chemical, bone, flesh, relationship experience, diet, you know, um, environment, Will consciousness continue? Because I think consciousness is an ag is, is the result of all that, and, and I think that's embodiment.